There was a time if you were worried about your son or daughter being in a cult, you could get help from a small nonprofit organization called the Cult Awareness Network, or CAN, for 20 years the nation's best known resource for information and advice about groups it considered dangerous. Among them was Scientology, a church not known for turning the other cheek. But church officials say Scientology is just another tax-exempt religion that helps millions of people worldwide, including actors John Travolta and Tom Cruise. And while Scientology did attack its enemies in the past, church officials say they don't do that anymore. But recently, the Cult Awareness Network was forced into bankruptcy, and its leaders blame the Church of Scientology. Today, CAN is under new management. Hello, Cult Awareness Network. Now when you call looking for information about a cult, chances are the person you're talking to is a Scientologist. Ashley's one, so is Bob. Everyone we met in the office was a Scientologist. Last year, a member of the church bought CAN's name, logo, and hotline number in bankruptcy court for $20,000. This is a dream come true for Scientology. They Stacy Young would know. She was a member of the church for 15 years, including its elite sea organization. She also worked in the Office of Special Affairs and was managing editor of its Freedom magazine. She left in 1989 and has been a paid consultant in lawsuits against Scientology. The Cult Awareness Network was the only mm. organization in um, the country where parents could call and say, you know, I've lost my child into this cult, what do I do? She says Scientology sets out to destroy anyone who criticizes it. Someone who um, speaks publicly against Scientology is targeted for um, a campaign of harassment, character assassination, um, uh, financial ruin. Um, there's a policy that says specifically, if possible, ruin them utterly. She's talking about a church directive, this one, the fair game law that says a person or group that publicly criticizes the church is fair game and can be destroyed. Stacy Young and others do not believe the church when it says it no longer harasses its enemies. Now the church says Scientology, originally known as Dianetics, is a benevolent religion with anti-drug programs and literacy projects that helps its followers increase their confidence. A central doctrine goes like this. 75 million years ago, a tyrant named Xenu transported people from outer space to Earth, dropped them in volcanoes, then exploded hydrogen bombs on them. That experience is the root of all human misery today. Scientology offers to help people overcome that misery, charging as much as $50,000 in a year. It's one of the reasons why Time magazine calls Scientology the cult of greed. One of Time's principal sources was Cynthia Kisser, who was Cannes' executive director. You said, quote, Scientology is quite likely the most ruthless, the most classically terroristic, the most litigious, and the most lucrative cult the country has ever seen. Whoa, that was very powerful. Do you stand by that? Oh, more than ever. More than ever. I mean, everything they've done since then just proves that quote. Cynthia Kisser says a fair game attack on CAN started in the 1980s, and Stacy Young says she was part of it. Some of the staff who were assigned to the Cult Awareness Network um, would brief us about some I mean, there were people the... specifically assigned. Oh, yes. That was their whole job. That was all they did. It was CAN. was CAN. That's right. And so our whole uh, uh, orientation was, well, what have you done this week to get rid of CAN? And how, how well have you done to discredit the leaders of CAN? How, how much progress have you made on disrupting this group? To do it, she says, the church used picketers at CAN's conventions and waged smear campaigns. Attorney Kendrick Moxon does most of the church's legal work, and he's a devout Scientologist. We are told... Mr. Moxon, yes. um, that a small army of private investigators was hired by your law firm to go out and dig up dirt on members of CAN, Cynthia Kisser specifically, and anything else they could find. Is that I, true? No, it's not true. Now, a lot of lawyers hire private eyes to dig up dirt on people. I mean, now we oh, are even hearing... I don't know. I, I know. I've heard that people do that, and I know that the media does that. 
but I don't know that a lot of lawyers do that. I don't do that. He acknowledges using private detectives, but not for the purpose of digging up dirt. But former private eye Michael Schomer says Moxon's law firm hired him to do just that. Find the sleaze, to find the hidden alcoholism, to find the hidden drug abuse, if that was the case. The sex life. The sex lives. Bad debts. Correct. He says he got his marching orders during a meeting right in the Scientology Church in Washington, D.C. He says a staffer briefed him on CAN and jotted down notes that Schomer's kept. He says he was told to investigate CAN and its purported allies, IRS officials, and Congressman Henry Waxman of California. And he was told to dig up enough dirt on Cynthia Kisser to destroy her reputation and intimidate her into silence. It says topless dancer at the Blue Note in Tucson, Arizona, Cynthia Kisser. That's correct. So did you investigate that? Yes, I did. Was she a topless dancer? No. Did you tell the Church of Scientology? Yes, I did. That these, were, these allegations were not true? That's correct. I don't know if she's a topless dancer. Did you tell our producer that you didn't believe that was true? I told your producer that I thought, looking at Cynthia Kisser, it seemed improbable that she could have been a topless dancer because of the way she looks. Yet despite his own view and the evidence from investigator Schomer's, Moxon, also a minister in the church, persisted in bringing it up. I mean, th we got a declaration already indicating that she had been a topless dancer. I can't believe you're continuing to talk about her being a topless dancer. Why? That was one of the allegations. But you These... even said you don't even think she was one. It's character assassination. I don't think that. Leslie, there was a declaration from a woman swearing that she was a topless dancer. Were, uh, were you a topless dancer? No, and later the person that they claimed told them that retracted it, issued a retraction saying that it wasn't true. Kisser says Scientology also used its publications to label CAN a criminal outfit and then contacted police and members of Congress with specific charges. President of the Church of Scientology, Reverend Heber Gentsch, repeated the accusations to us. Kidnapping people, holding them against their will, uh, beating up on people, pistol whipping, uh, safe houses where they held people against their will, 